Hello and welcome to the Log4Net video. So here we will see how to use Log4Net in the C Sharp console application in five easy steps. So let's follow the first step that is to create console application and install the Log4Net logging library. So let's create the project. The project has been created. Let's install the Log4Net library through the NuGet package. So the version is 2.0.8. Let's install it. So the library has been installed. Now let's go to step two, that is to configure Log4Net. So I have these configurations, which we'll have to put in the app.config file of the console application. I will explain the configurations. So this particular configuration is to enable logging through Log4Net. And then we have this configuration, which is a very important one, wherein we mention the, the strategies uh, in order to log uh, our log messages. So we have uh, appenders in Log4Net, wherein uh, we have many appenders, like we have console appender, which enables us to log the messages onto the console. We have file appender, which enables us to log to the uh, file. And then we have this rolling file appender, which is an extension to the file appender. But wherein we can, uh, the, the log files will be rolled after they reach a certain size and certain number of log files. So I'll explain that. So let's go through the configuration one by one. So here under the appender, you can mention the log file name and the location where you want to create the log file. You can give relative path. Uh, so if you want to create the log file in the log directory of your application, you can give the relative path accordingly. And then we have append to file, which signifies that uh, whatever log messages uh, you're going to log, those will be appended to the log file. That is logfonet.txt. And then we have locking model, wherein uh, this configuration is for the multi-threading. Like if there are multiple threads, logging to the same file. So this, this particular configuration will provide synchronization mechanism. Then we have uh, this layout, pattern layout, wherein we can uh, uh, mention the pattern we would want our log message to be dumped. So for each log message, we are uh, dumping, we would be uh, prepending date, thread ID, and then the log level, which we are dumping and then the message. So date would be the current timestamp, thread would be the thread ID, and the log level that is info, debug, error, all those log levels. And then we have rolling style, wherein we may, we signify that uh, what style would we want to for our log files to be rolled. So here it is size, which, which signifies that uh, based on the log, log file size, the, the log files will be rolled. So we will we will see the demonstration. How uh, what do I mean by uh, rolling? So here the next configuration is max size roll backups, which signifies that at any given time the max number of log files which will be created will be ten. So after ten, I mean the oldest file will be deleted. So that at every time there will be ten log files. And then we have maximum file size, which signifies that each file size should be of this configured value. So in this case, it's 5 KB. Uh, it's just for the demonstration purpose. It's, it's uh, generally very small, 5 KB is small. And then we have 
static log file name which signifies uh, that is if the value is true so each time uh, like let's say we have this log four net dot txt so once it reaches 5 kb size the next the uh, a, a log file will be created with the name log four net dot txt hyphen one but the latest messages which will be logged into the log file will be log four net so it will always be log four net so this particular configuration makes sure and likewise as i said that uh, once again uh, now suppose let's say we have two files now log four net dot txt hyphen one log four net dot txt now log four net txt uh, uh, TXT size become 5 KB. So now a new log file will be created log for net dot TXT hyphen one and the 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 one which was earlier log for net dot TXT hyphen one will be will become hyphen two. So we'll see in the demonstration and then we have another configuration root wherein we mentioned the level which we would want to uh, 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 dump uh, into the log file. So here we have mentioned debug debug in uh, in log four net it's the lowest level okay so the first is debug and then we have info we have warn we have error and we have uh, fatal so if we mention error here so only uh, log messages with log level error will be dumped into the log file and then uh, we also have uh, two other uh, uh, levels one is all all is we can say synonymous to debug and we and the other is off and then if you mention off here so the messages won't be logged uh, to the log file so it, it will be kind of uh, a switch if you just put off if you want to just stop logging then you can put uh, log level as uh, off and then here we mention appender which appender we want to use we are using rolling file appender so there we can configure multiple appenders and we can use appenders according to our use according to whatever we want okay so this was uh, a very important uh, step that is a step two now let's go to step three uh, this step three this entry we need to put in assembly info.cs so this is also an important step wherein uh, this configuration uh, if we put it, it signifies it's it searches the app dot config file. It searches for the log four net configuration. So if we miss to add this, then uh, the messages won't be logged. So yes, we have added the configuration. Now let's go to step four. That is create log class member. So let's create uh, the logger object. Let's go to program dot cs and create our logger object. So here we have created the logger object. We have called get logger in order to, to fetch the logger object. And then we have this as the parameter, which, which uh, is reflection. Basically it gets the class name. This get logger expects a class name. So this particular API uh, gets the class name, current class name, that is program.cs. This we have used because let's say tomorrow if uh, this class name is changed, uh, for some reason so so this api will return the changed class name so we don't have to do anything uh, manually for that now let's go to the step five wherein we will log the message Okay, let's run the application and see whether the log file is created or not. So yes, the log file is created. Let's open. And yes, it says we have been able to log through log for net. And as we mentioned in the app.config, so first we have the timestamp and then we have the thread ID then we have the log level and then we have a message so great we have been able to create uh, the log file now let's demonstrate the the rolling feature okay. let's 
let's take a big number else will be rolled So let's execute the application. So here you can see the log files are getting created. And uh, once the file size number of files reaches 10, the oldest one will be deleted. And the 9 will become 10, the 8 will become 9, 7 will become 8, 6 will become 7, likewise. But this will always be remain the current log file. See, when whenever this reaches 5 KB, log format will become log format dot text dot one and the earlier text dot one will become two so likewise it will keep on rolling so similarly uh, you can uh, uh, like let's test some log levels now let's comment this let's see now we print into error. Now let's uh, let's delete the files as well. Let's put error here. Let's execute the application. Now you see that we have two messages log.info and log.error and we have set uh, into the app.config that we only want error messages to be dumped. Now let's check uh, in the which message is dumped. So here you can see the info is not dumped only the error message is dumped. So great. Now let's try one more uh, configuration. This time let's use off. Now we shouldn't have any log messages in the log file. So here the log uh, file is created, but uh, let's reload. We don't have any message over here. So yes, the log levels are working. Uh, also uh, in the real scenario, uh, we'll be having uh, uh, I mean, a lot of class libraries which will be called uh, through the console application. So we can pass the log, the logger object uh, uh, to the uh, to the class libraries constructors, and or we can also create uh, the logger uh, in the class library as well. So yes, uh, you can see uh, uh, log phone using log phone it is easy. Uh, uh, that's it from my side. I hope you liked the video. Please like the video and subscribe our channel. Thank you very much.